Hi, I'm Melissa McMahon with Care Paravel Academy. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about how we do math. Now this might be a little bit controversial, but I'm of the opinion that it does not matter so much which math curriculum you choose, but that you stay consistent with it. Now, we can argue that there are better ways to teach math than other ways, and I'm sure there are, and there's more Charlotte Mason way than other ways, and I'm sure there is. However, what I have seen with other moms is that they will start in one curriculum and then they don't like it for whatever reason and then they switch to another and they keep bouncing between these different curricula and that's the thing that is just really difficult for their kids to stay on some sort of path to whatever it is that they are learning. In the end, arithmetic is arithmetic in my view and again, my personal opinion. So if you find something that will teach your children arithmetic and build on that, and then you can get to a place where they can do higher math, but you have to have those foundations, and probably just about any curricula on the market can fulfill that purpose. For us, we started out in Math UC, and I liked that we could do it at our own pace. I liked that it had videos that went with it. I had um, lots of little children when I started out. My first child in it and we could do it at whatever pace we needed to. There's some lessons still that we can go through very quickly and some that we need to back back down on um, and take some time. There are resources online for it and once I had already invested in the videos and instruction book for my oldest child it was not that much more expensive to just buy the workbooks for the subsequent children. So again you can argue that other curricula might be more Charlotte Mason-y, but I just, I really valued that consistency and knowing that we weren't going to miss any huge major gaps in their math, especially their arithmetic education. I also really liked that Matthew C. begins with the concept of algebra and the unknown very early, and it also emphasizes word problems from the get-go. And other curriculum might do that too. I don't know, I didn't research any, I just, I, well, I did at the beginning, but I haven't compared it um, that much because I decided, well, we're just going to stick with this as long as we can. Now in our area, we do have a very good um, collaborative where we can pay the tutors to teach our kids math and science and other subjects too, but we've just used it for math and science and um, foreign language. So once they have hit algebra or geometry, I have hired those tutors to take on the higher, higher math. For one, I just didn't want to have to review it for myself. I just knew that would take a lot of my time and having other little children at home. Um, my husband's an engineer, he could have done it too, but I, I, this was just a nice thing to delegate to, um, to somebody else. And it also served really well for them to have different adults in their lives that could be their teachers and that they could learn a classroom setting. So I don't know if that's an option for you when you get to the higher math, but part of the irony of it is some of these teachers chose to use the higher math, Matthew C. Um, so for pre-calculus and calculus, I think they both chose to use the uh, Matthew C books for that. So they saw some value there too. Math as itself, if it's just being incrementally moving forward, I think is just a good thing. So for instance, I don't schedule them out at the beginning of the year. I put that in my um, planning video. I, I leave it blank. I have that you're, you're starting in uh, Matthew C. Alpha, and then once we've done it for the week, I write what we've done. So some weeks, again, we can go a lot faster. Some weeks we might slow down a bit. Um, just depends. Also, I don't make them do every page. If they've gotten the concept and they can move on, we will move on. And um, and that has worked well for us. My first two kids are interested in STEM fields. They're very strong in math now. And, and thankfully, because this collaborative too has helped. Um, and my next two kids look like they're not as math oriented, but they've done really well in their classes. And I think because they've had a really strong foundation. So let me encourage you, whatever it is that you find, Try to stay consistent with it and just keep doing one thing after the other. The other thing is I have it as a goal to finish one level each year, but I don't freak out if I don't or if I go faster. So we just do the next thing. The nice thing about Matthew C also is that it's it's not graded. You don't have level one, two, and three. It's alpha, beta, gamma. 
so um, you know, they can figure out if they're below grade level, but it takes a little bit of figuring and a knowledge of the Greek alphabet to figure that out. So that has worked well too, that they don't feel um, behind necessarily, but we're just doing the next thing. So I hope you find that helpful and encouraging. And as always, blessings in your homeschool, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.